What's up? It's your boy Loki Lamar, and I'm here with another bang gang. In today's video, we are going to be doing a day in the life slash life update. So, yeah, I haven't posted a YouTube video in a long time, and uh, I plan on getting back to posting uh, videos weekly. So, I just wanted to, wanted to update y'all on what's going on in my life and, like, get y'all up to track just because I haven't posted in a while. So, yeah, uh, it's December, and as y'all know, YouTubers thrive in the month of December because it's uh, Vlogmas, and uh, I'm definitely not doing Vlogmas. Uh, it's when YouTubers film every day, post every day for uh, 25 days all the way up until Christmas. I can't even post a video, I can't even post two videos in a month. Well, I haven't, but, so I'm definitely not doing Vlogmas, but uh, while it being Vlogmas and me not posting in a while, I'm going to be posting two videos a week for the rest of the month. So yeah, uh, hopefully y'all enjoy it and uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing to this video. So, without further ado, dude, let's just get into it. Let's just hop right into this thing. What's up, y'all? Uh, so, this video is probably, well, this is probably not going to be the intro to this video because uh, I didn't really get to properly start the video this morning because I was running late and I actually missed the bus, so... Um, yeah, it's currently 8.13, and, uh, I was, like, we have to be at school by 7.35, so I've been late already, but I just came and turned the car on, my mother about to take me to school, so, yeah, um, just wanted to give y'all an update, well, like, tell y'all what's going on before, like, we start the video, because, like, yeah, so, uh, I'll probably talk to y'all when we get to school or something. <laughs> By sheer coincidence. So basically what y'all seeing here is me in the nurse's office for being exposed to somebody that had COVID. So my mother came to pick me up and I went home. Alright y'all, so basically what y'all just saw was uh, when I was in school, I got called down to the nurse's office and basically what she told me is that I was exposed to somebody that had COVID, but she didn't tell me like who that person was. Yeah, so I had to leave and basically she told me like if I have had it, I've had it long enough. If I get a test today, I can, uh, if it comes back negative, I can just go back to school tomorrow. So, um, basically, uh, Excuse me, I just burped, but um, basically, I have to just go get a test. So that's um, what I'm going to go do today. And um, right now, it is uh, currently like, uh, it's 8 8.30, 11.38. So I've been in the house for like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, so I'm just about to chill basically. Uh, this, I'm not even gonna lie, this came clutch because I didn't even really want to be in school. Like really, but I was really in school for probably like an hour and 30 minutes because I was already late. And then, actually I was in school for probably like two hours. But yeah, I was already late and then I just got out of school. So yeah, that's good. But um, what I'm currently about to do right now is clean out my room because it's not the dirtiest, but it's not the cleanest, so.
Alright, so cleaning my room and like getting like my room straightened up and all that stuff is out of the way. So now I'm just about to chill and probably watch a movie or something. So yeah, until it's time for me to go uh, take the test. I'm not even sure if I'm taking the test today, but I think I am. So yeah. What's up, y'all? Uh, I just woke up from like an hour power nap. Um, it is currently uh, 4.13 right now, if y'all can see that. And uh, I have a uh, haircut appointment at 4.30, so I'm about to go to focus camera. There we go. And yeah, I'm about to go to that right now um, and get my haircut. I haven't had my haircut in like two weeks, so uh, yeah. That's what we're about to go do right now. I'm about to slip my shoes on, grab my wallet, and then my mom about to take it. So yeah, well, take me. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm back from the bubble shop now. I'm at home, and uh, yeah, check out the cut. Just the cut. Ooh. Ooh. And yeah, uh, this is like one of the best haircuts I had in a while. I went to um, went to like one of my like a barber that has that was cutting my hair like three years ago, and oh my god, this, like it's it's like so clean. But yeah, uh. So basically what I got left to do tonight is uh, I have a bag of clothes right there that I have to put away. So uh, I'm about to do that and uh, I got to do homework and then uh, I don't have school tomorrow. So I don't really have to get ready for school because I don't got to go to school tomorrow. So we actually didn't get the, um, I didn't tell y'all, but um, we actually wasn't going to get the uh, COVID test today. We're going to get it tomorrow. So I'm just not going to go to school tomorrow. Uh, but I have a... Uh, Dennis appointment tomorrow, so yeah. Also, so I might vlog tomorrow because that could be like a productive day in the life, also. But like I said, I'm trying to like I'm trying to get back posting because I've been slacking like a lot, and I need to get my watch time and get my goals up. And I always say this, but I really need to stop posting again. But um, this month, um, I'm gonna be posting twice a week. Uh. Just because, uh, and in it being December, uh, and like Vlogmas and how YouTubers like vlog all of, uh, December, I cannot, I can't. So I'm gonna post twice a week, um, for y'all. So yeah, I already got a, a video, uh, filmed before this, and then this is gonna be the first video uploaded because I wanted to give y'all like a life update, and then I didn't just wanna hop into like posting videos again. So yeah. Probably while I fold and put them clothes away, I'm gonna give y'all a life update and just basically tell y'all everything that has been like currently going on in my life right now. So, yeah. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown me. Alright 
Alright y'all, so, uh, haven't posted in a while, haven't posted in like, a month and like, and a half, so, here's gonna be a little life update for y'all. Alright, so like, first, we're gonna start off with school. He's out here. Alright, so basically, school is not, is not, look, school is just annoying. I don't be really feeling like going to school, but my grades are good, like, of course, like, of course my grades are good, but, uh, grades come out, uh, like, progress report grades come out Friday, and my grades are gonna be good, I just gotta do, like, a couple more stuff, and then. So, my first report card came out not too long ago, and it was good. I had all A's and B's. So, that's like, what's going on in school right now. I also got accepted into this uh, thing called IB, but I'm not gonna do it because everybody at my school told me that it's like not worth it, so I'm just not gonna do it. They say it's, it's like stressful and it's like an overload of work, and school by itself, like with, like, with it being regular, like without me being in that uh, program, it's already stressful. So I'm not gonna put more stress on myself and do it. So yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that, but that's basically what's going on with school, really. But uh, as y'all know, I run track and indoor track has started. Indoor track started like, when did indoor track start? It probably started like oh, two weeks before Thanksgiving. Like the s second or third week of running track, my like, like right under my knee or like, it might even be my knee. It just started hurting and it has not stopped hurting. Like, it well, it'll stop hurting, but like every time it stops hurting, like when I go home, it'll stop hurting and I wake up the next morning and it'll like, the pain will be gone away. But as soon as I start running that practice that day, my freaking legs start hurting again. Like, yeah, so um, I had two track meets already. In my first track meet, uh, I got second in uh, the 4x2, which is, uh, it's like the relay team in the 200. So it's like four people running 200 and like you pass the baton. Yeah, we got second place in that at the first track meet. And then uh, I got third place in my uh, 55. So, yeah. We had a track meet this week on Monday. And I did pr I did really good at that track meet. I did better at that tra this track meet than that last track meet. So I ran, I did the two same, uh, same events at this track meet. Uh, I did the uh, four by two and the 55. And at that sh this track meet, uh, I came in the same place, but my time was faster than at uh, the first track meet, and my time was 7:50. Like that is so good for, and I'm a freshman. Like that's a really good time for uh, 55. I'm a freshman, but like the times don't always be accurate because like it's like timed by people at school. Like the timers don't be accurate, but that's good though. And in the four by two, we lost the four by two. Like we lost because uh, it was only two teams at the track meet uh, when we did the four by two. So basically, out of four by two work, it's like two relay teams in each team. Like each relay event, there's uh, four teams on each team. Well, there can be four teams on each team, but it's probably not always four teams on each team because not everybody has an A team and a B team for relay on our team. But we we do, we just don't have a, a girls A team. I mean, a girls B team. But uh, I'm in a boys B team. So we got a girls A team, a boys A team, and then we got a boys B team. So I'm in a boys B team um, and we lost. So basically we had to run with uh, our A team and then the school we went against A team, and we had to also run with their B team. So, yeah, we lost. Their B team beat us, and our A team beat us, and then even our our A team beat us. So like, 
Yeah, we just lost. But, yeah, that's basically what's going on with track. Oh, and I'm not uh, allowed to compete until after Christmas break because uh, after I ran at this recent track meet, uh, my coach realized that I probably shouldn't be running. So, uh, I can't run again until after Christmas break. Which is okay, but like, that's just like, dumb. But I'm just ready for like this soreness, whatever this is in my knee to go away. Because I'm just ready to run again. I like high school track way more than uh, middle school track, though, so far. That's basically what's going on with track. And I also got a track meet uh, this Saturday. Uh, I was supposed to compete in it, but I'm not competing in it because I can't compete in any track meets until after uh, Christmas break. But uh, I'm still going to a track meet. And yeah, this track meet is in Pennsylvania, so we have to travel like three hours from where we live to go to that track meet. And we have to be at the school at 5 o'clock in the morning that day. So yeah, but I'm still going to go like to support my team. So yeah. Y'all remember like in the summertime, probably a couple videos ago because I haven't even posted that much videos since the summertime. Uh, I brought a lizard. So, see what happened was my first lizard died. Lotus, he passed away. R.I.P. Lotus. Uh, he passed away, but uh, I got another one after he passed away. Lotus, y'all. Lotus did not eat. He didn't eat. He did not eat. Like, he really didn't eat. Like, I would feed him, and he would not eat the food. Like, uh, even when I was feeding him crickets, he wouldn't eat. Like, it was like, really, probably, I don't know what was wrong with him, but, yeah, he just didn't eat. So, yeah, he died. But I got a new one, and, uh, my new one's named Shiesty. I'm not gonna show y'all the case right now, because it's dirty. I need to clean it. But I'll put pictures on the screen of him. But, uh, yeah, and the new, the name of the new lizard is Shiesty. And, uh, I got another better dragon, as y'all saw. But, yeah. Oh, I'm 15 now. Because the video that, uh, that I posted before this video, I filmed that video before my birthday. So, yeah, I'm 15 now. My birthday passed. Dang, I really haven't posted in a while, because my birthday felt like... I feel like it was a while ago, and I haven't even filmed a video since my birthday, so I just like feeling older, that's the only thing about being 15, because 15 isn't even really like a, like a big deal age, but next year, I'm about to turn 16, and I'm going to be driving, like, it can't come fast enough, like, it just need to come. But yeah, that's basically a life update. I'm about to finish uh, folding these clothes and about to put them away. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a scoop on what's been going on in my life. And yeah. And uh, so it is currently uh, 8.48, as y'all can see. And uh, right now, what I'm currently about to do is my homework. Well... Not really homework, school work that uh, I haven't done. I have this uh, summative and uh, Spanish to do, and that's like literally all I. That's literally all I have to do to make up all my work, and like all my classes. So, yeah, that's what we about to do. But uh, it's just time. This is just gonna be like kind of time consuming. It's gonna take me like an hour to do it. But um, yeah, that's currently what we are about to do. And yeah. So I'm just gonna let y'all sit right there. I'm about to bump some tunes and just get this done. College degree. My IQ is average, there's a young lady out there, she way smarter than me. I scrolled through her timeline in these wild times and I started to read. She mad at these crackers, she mad at these capitalists, mad at these murder police. She mad at my niggas, she mad at her ignorance, she wear her heart on the sleeve. She mad at the celebrities, low key I be thinking she's talking about me. Now I ain't no dummy to think I'm above criticism, so when I see something that's valid, I listen, but shit, it's something about the queen tone that's bothering me. 
She strike me as somebody blessed enough to grow up in conscious environment with parents that know about the struggle for liberation and in turn they provide her with a perspective and awareness of the system and a fairness that afflicts them and the clearest understanding of what we got to do to get free and the frustration that fills the words seems to come from the fact that most people don't see. Just cause you woke and I'm not, that shit ain't no reason to talk like you better than me. How you gon' leave when you attacking the very same niggas that really do need the shit that you saying is that a command you holier come help us get her to speed. Shit is a reason until like 200 years for our answers is just to get free. These shackles be locking the mental way more than the physical. I look at freedom like trees. Can't grow for us like overnight. Hit the ghetto and slowly start planting your seeds. Fuck is the point of you preaching your message to those that already believe what you believe. I'm on some fucking retweet. Most people are sheep. You got all the answers but how you gon' reach? If I can make one more suggestion respectfully I would say it's more effective to treat people like children. Understanding the time and love and patience that's needed to grow. This change is inevitable but ain't none of us seen this before. Therefore we just gotta learn everything as we go. I struggle with thoughts on the daily. Feel like a slave that somehow to save. And no coins to buy his way about a slavery. Think it just maybe in my pursuit to make life so much better for me and my babies. I all right, y'all, so it is currently 9.28, and uh, I'm about to go get in the shower uh, because I got all my work that I really need to get done done, and I really got all the stuff that I needed to get done done today. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to go uh, take a shower, and I'm just going to get with y'all when I get out the shower, so yeah. So I'm about to shower now. Uh, I'm about to just show y'all my skincare routine. That's basically what I do at night. Um, that's really basic all I do. So lately, I have uh, only been using the Cetaphil because I ran out of the Clean and Clear stuff. Um, but it's been working pretty good because my face isn't that bad right now, but it's pretty bad. But yeah, I just been using uh, I just been using Cetaphil. Then you got the Vaseline no day though. Vaseline. Alright y'all, so uh currently about to eat. My food is warming up right now. But uh I got Pizza King, I got a cheese steak and some pizza, but I'm just gonna eat half of my cheese steak right now. So yeah, uh it's about to be 222 on that thing. Look, it's 220 right now. But yeah, I'm about to eat this up. And yeah, I'm just gonna get back with y'all. Cause I really don't know what to talk about. I feel about to be done. Four, three, two, one. All right, y'all, so here's my cheese steak. I don't even know what's on it. My sister got it for me, so. Yeah. But uh, currently what I'm about to do now is just uh, eat my food and then watch YouTube on my phone. So, yeah, that's usually what I do all the time when I eat is just watch YouTube videos on my phone. But, uh, yeah. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much, like, basically all I do at nighttime. Uh, I would usually, like, get out my school clothes for uh, school the next day and, like, my track clothes for uh, track practice the next day. But I haven't been going to track practice for, like, the last two days. And also, I don't got school tomorrow because I was exposed to COVID. I, like, I know I don't have the virus. Like, I have no symptoms, so... Yeah, and even the uh, nurse told me today that in school that the test is most likely going to come back negative. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm about to try to my best, like, try my best and hardest to post more. Like, I'm, I don't know. Don't get y'all hopes up. <laughs> like, I feel like that's harsh, but, like. I'm really going to try my best to post more. But make sure y'all follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked in the description down below. Make sure you like uh, like the video. And subscribe. Like, you, you got to subscribe. Like, 
y'all know y'all like enjoyed this video so subscribe hit that subscribe button and what else oh comment 10:45 if y'all stay today so yeah uh, I'll just see y'all in the next video